The story is told of a father who left for work one day. Right before he left, he told his son he wanted him to mow the lawn. After dad was gone, the son thought to himself, I'm not going to mow the lawn. I'm going to go play baseball and have fun. And so he headed out into the backyard with his bat and ball. And after he hit it a few times, all of a sudden, he broke the kitchen window. And the boy fell on his knees in tears, wondering what he was going to do. His dad had told him to mow the lawn, and now the window was broken. The neighbor saw all of this and felt pity on the boy, and came and asked him what was wrong, and he told him the entire story. The neighbor told the boy that he felt bad and he was willing to pay for the window, and in fact even fix it, and he did. However, even after the window was fixed, do you think that boy's father would be happy with him? Well, no, because the boy hadn't done what his dad had required of him to mow the lawn. Thankfully, the neighbor also helped with that, quickly took care of it with his riding lawnmower right before dad got home from work. The story is told as an illustration of what Christ has done for us. Christ hasn't simply paid for what we have broken. He did that on the cross for us, paid the punishment and price for our sins. But He also has fulfilled what God required of every one of us, to follow His commandments perfectly, to love our neighbor as ourselves. The Apostle Paul writes in Romans chapter 5, verse 19, Through the obedience of the one man, the many will become righteous. Yes, Jesus has also lived perfectly in our place to make us right with God. Thanks be to God that He has done everything necessary for us and for our salvation. Amen.